walking forward. They're off. And they have two miles in front of them. And Mr. Mole uh, has just shied at the tape there. He was uh, lined up in first place, but he's dropped 10 lengths behind the others and gets away in last position, having played up a little bit at the start. He just gets over fence number one of the 13 now. Uh, it means that Upsilon Bleu is the leader as they move down to number two, setting a slow gallop as well. Off to the right is Uxixandra who's almost level with him as they touch down over the second. Then the uh, white jacket of Karinga Dancer, Sada Grugi in the red colours, and uh, having made up uh, ten lengths already now, Mr Moe with the nose band is back marker of the quintet. They take the water just once. It's fence number three, Uxixandra up and over safely. They all took it OK, although Karinga Dancer landed a little bit awkwardly and is narrowly by the looks of things back marking now as they head away to the far side. So Uxixandra and Barry Geraghty have ended up leading by about three lengths. Up Silon Bleu, James Reevely uh, shows in second place. And then uh, Saida Grugy, red jacket Jamie Moore is in third position at this stage, about one length ahead of the nose banded Mr. Mole and AP McCoy as they come to the first of the fences on the far side, which is number four. A back marker over it was Karinga Dancer. Five. It's going to be the first of the ditches. Number 11 will also be an open ditch on the way round. It's a good six length lead now for Uxxandra. Booted into it, got over it safely, all over it okay. Not the best of leaps from Mr. Mole in fourth place. Upsilon Bleu continues to hold second position. And then Saida Grugy with Mr. Mole going around the outside of them now, the nose band, about to take second position as they jump this plain one. And they've just uh, lengthened away from Karinga Dancer. Two more plain fences on the far side to take. Uxixandra leading. Uh, Mr. Mole now into second place as they come to this plain fence. Then Sada Grugy, two, three lengths behind him in third place. Up Silon Bleu, back in fourth, led early on after Mr. De Mole messed around at the start. And Karinga Dancer is the back marker. Last on the far side coming up. Hooks Alexandra, big leap over it. They all got over it OK. Mr. Mole, two lengths behind in second place as they move to the end of the back straight. Sada Grugy, just a couple of lengths, maybe three behind them. In total, no more than five off the lead at this stage with five more fences to jump. Upsilon Blur is two or three lengths behind him in fourth position, and Karinga Dancer continues to be the back marker. Onto the cross fence, five from the finish. Barry Geraghty on Uxixandra leading, AP McCoy on Mr. Mole in second place, two three lengths behind him, Jamie Moore on Sada Grugy in third at the cross fence, Uxixandra. Up and over safely, Mr. Mole in second, another best of leaps from Sada Grugy in third place. And uh, they're well ahead now from Upsilon Blurs, about 10, 15 lengths behind him in fourth place. And about five lengths behind him is Karinga Dansa. Into the straight. Four more fences to jump. Uxixandra on the right leading. On the left with the noseband is Mr. Mole. And between them, the white face of Saida Grugy beginning to get closer. Plain fence, four from the finish there. Mr. Mole on the left comes through to take it up. Saida Grugy in error in third position. Uxixandra's in second. Here's the final one of the ditches now. And Mr. Mole at the third last fence comes in towards him. Over safely. Saida Grugy's unseated Jamie Moore. Saida Grugy unseats Jamie Moore at the third last, and Mr. Mole is left clear. Upsilon Blur has joined Uxixandra for second position at the second last, and it's AP on Mr. Mole. Heads down towards the final fence. He's 15 lengths ahead. Uxixandra with the riderless Saida Grugy next to him. Upsilon Blur is next at the final obstacle. Mr. Mole up and over the last safely. Uxixandra's unseated Barry Geraghty at the last. So Upsilon Blur left in third position. Ringa Dancer in fourth, and it's Mr. Mole messed around at the start, but he will give AP McCoy his 200th winner of the season, his ninth double century. Mr. Mole is the winner. In second position is Upsilon Blur, and Karinga Dancer in third. Well, well, how to nutshell this year's game spirit chase. Where to start at the start for Mr. Mole who has often had his own ideas. I'm not sure he did anything too awful. He pirouetted just as the tapes went up and got left 12 lengths, as Richard said in commentary. He made up the ground relatively easily. Ultimately, he has won with real emphasis. He's a, a horse with tons of talent. And as Tony McCoy engages Barry Geraghty, Jamie Moore starts to endure jumping problems with Sider Grugy. That was four out. 
which Sayed Agruji walked through, and then he gets rid of Jamie. And the horse had snapped, if not back on the bridle, at least into contention again. But I'm afraid that was a race-stopping error. And we believe Sayed Agruji is none the worse, and I think Jamie Moore's up as well. We'll get you confirmation of that, but let's... After seeing Uxi Zondra get rid of Barry Geraghty, hear from the man who's just ridden his 200th winner for the season on a horse who is now firmly in the picture for the Queen Mother Champion Shakes, the very talented Mr Mole. Congratulations, AP. First of all, just tell us what happened down at the start. Uh, he just jinked at the tip and whipped around, and I was meant to make the run, and then I decided I'd better change the plan and, and uh, just take my time. So, uh, look, he did it well in the end. And fair play to Paul Nichols. He hasn't half gotten to improve, you know. He had a lot more belief in him than I'd ever had, you know. Is he now a realistic Queen Mother champion chase horse? Uh, look, sure, why not? He may as well have a go at it, you know. He was very impressive there and liked a bit of better ground. His attitude has changed, and, but that's all in, in fairness to the trainer, you know. Maybe I'm going to reel off a stat here, and I, I hope you don't just take it lightly, but it's your 10th time that you've brought up a double century of winners. That is quite an incredible achievement. I'm going to tell you something else, Rishi. It's going to be the last time I'll write 200 winners because um, I haven't spoke to Dave and JP. I'm going to be retiring at the end of the season. So, oh. so that's a, a bit, a bit, bit of news for you. That, that is a bit of a bombshell. What, what's been the, the deciding factor in that, AP? Uh, look, it's just um, I want to go out at the top. I want to go out as, as champion jockey. It'll be my 20th year if I can win the jockey's championship. And um, I want to go out while I still enjoy riding, you know, and um, while I'm still relatively at the top so um so I haven't spoke to Dave about it and, and obviously to JP and, and Noreen and that you know they're the only JP and Dave are the only people that that I actually had spoke to about it um Chanel didn't even know until I got Dave Roberts down on Monday night to, to have a chat about it and before that JP was the only person that I'd spoke to about it you know so my mum and dad don't even know so they're going to find out on television so I think they'll be happy to be fair well AP that is uh, amazing news just all I can say is congratulations and well done. So the career of one of the most extraordinary sportsmen this game or any other game has ever seen is going to come to an end on Bet365 Gold Cup Day at Sandown Park. And what a celebration that will be as he comes in having ridden his 10th double century on a horse of great talent, Mr Mole. A man who... Gave him so many of those early winners. Paul Nichols has given him his 200th this season, is alongside him now. And what an extraordinary moment. And this horse, who knows, could yet give him another Queen Mother champion chase. And there is wife Chanel, daughter Eve, and son AP Jr. And I'm sure this will be a, an extraordinary moment for them. Young Archie there on the right, Eve on the left. I'm not even sure that AP's extended family knew the decision that he'd come to. But he's just told us live on Channel 4 that he will end what's been a glittering career at the end of this season. And what a way to bring up the 200 on Mr Mole who showed his quirks at the beginning of the race, but showed his sublime talent at the end. And this man alongside now has been showing his sublime talent for over two decades, has completely revolutionized this game. One of the great sportsmen, one of the great sportsmen of our time.